Iridium. Uh, we charge at the Iridium telephone, and also we uh, plan more activities on the handover. So total in the desolation of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, three crew members atop the Soyuz TM-A-12, poised for liftoff just 18 minutes from now to begin a two-day journey to rendezvous and dock to the International Space Station. There is Alexei Leonov, who on March 18, 1965, became the first human to walk in space, seated uh, with Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman to fly in space back in 1963. Legendary space official, space uh, icons and uh, Russian cosmonauts on hand at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan today for the launch of Soyuz TMA-12 and the Expedition 17 crew to the International Space Station. Training session and from that day we'll start uh, pre-packing the return hardware, return cargo. Uh, it will be three hours located to you and also the handover will continue. Thank you. Seventeen. All recommendations to the On this day, we wake up at six o'clock, and then sleep time is fourteen hundred, and then another wake up at eighteen hundred, and sleep time five o'clock. Yeah, we plan to do the uh, return cargo loading and also urine for the ISS 17 crew commander, uh, two hours of assistance. Also for you is local switching unit disassembly and removal from uh, Soyuz. And for ISS 17 crew commander, he'll be uh, prepacking, he will be loading uh, the uh, return cargo in the Soyuz and also again some more handover activities. Any questions? No. 18. Wake up at 16.30. Now just 16 minutes away from the launch of uh, the Expedition 17 crew here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center on the right side of your screen. Flight Director Ginger Carrick uh, who uh, We'll be uh, discussing all of the activities throughout the course of the day uh, with the uh, Expedition 16 crew on board the complex. Uh, joined on console uh, on her right on the left side of your screen by astronaut Shannon Lucid, who herself uh, made history uh, with her uh, record uh, six-month stay aboard the Mir space station back in the 1990s. Uh, Lucid... Um, is talking directly to the crew uh, this morning on board the International Space Station as they continue on board the complex uh, to watch uh, a feed that is being uplinked to them of uh, the launch preparations down in Baikonur. The uh, word uh, from the launch officials down in Kazakhstan is that uh, at the 15-minute mark, uh, everything is in readiness for an on-time liftoff at 6.16 a.m. Central Time, 5.16 p.m. Baikonur time. At the time of launch, the International Space Station will be traveling uh, over the uh, Pacific Ocean just to the west of Pitcairn Island. In the viewing stand at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, relatives of uh, So Yun Yi, the uh, South Korean researcher, 29 years old, about to embark on her first flight into space 13 and a half minutes from now. The uh, Soyuz is fully fueled, ready for launch. It will take about nine minutes uh, for the TMA-12 to reach orbit. 
once it uh, separates from its uh, third stage and reaches uh, its preliminary orbit, its uh, solar arrays and navigational antennas uh, will deploy. The Soyuz uh, will be in its preliminary orbit, standing by for two rendezvous burns that will take place later today uh, to refine its path en route uh, to the International Space Station. The first of those burns to occur at about 9.52 Central Time this morning. The second, a circularization burn at about 10.38 Central Time that will place uh, the Soyuz on its correct path uh, for uh, rendezvous and docking to the complex on Thursday morning, just after 8 a.m. Central Time. The uh, docking port uh, for the Soyuz TMA-12 will be the Piers docking compartment, which was vacated yesterday when the Progress uh, 28 cargo craft uh, was undocked and commanded to deorbit into a destructive reentry over the Pacific Ocean. Uh, currently uh, docked to the aft end of the Zvezda service module is the Jules Verne European Space Agency's automated transfer vehicle that arrived at the complex last week. The older of the Soyuz vehicles, the TMA-11, that will be the ride home for Peggy Whitson, Yuri Malenchenko, and So Yun Yi on April 19th is docked to the Nader or Earthward-facing docking port of the Zarya module. Uh, this good view now of So Yun Yi uh, in the right seat in the Soyuz TMA-12 as uh, she listens uh, to uh, the launch control uh, center technicians uh, providing uh, their discussions of final pre-launch preparations less than 12 minutes now from launch. We can see you on TV. This is Perminov, Roscosmos Manitou. I'm in the bunker. So very serious. Okay. From his vantage point uh, down at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, uh, the head of Roscosmos, Anatoly Permanov, uh, calling the crew in the final minutes before launch, uh, offering them uh, his best wishes on a safe ride to orbit. Launch schedule less than ten and a half minutes from now. You're watching live coverage of the launch of the 17th Expedition crew aboard a Soyuz rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Engineers continue to monitor all systems aboard the Soyuz rocket and the TMA-12 capsule. Launch time, 6.16 a.m. Central time, 5.16 p.m. down at the Cosmodrome. Again, you're looking at So Yun Yi in the right seat of the Soyuz capsule. Everything uh, continues uh, to track on target for an on-time launch today. The uh, temperature is in the uh, high 40s at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Clear skies, ideal conditions for today's launch. Uh, the Soyuz uh, is fully fueled. Its tanks uh, will be pressurized uh, inside the two-minute mark before launch. The uh, swing arms that are holding uh, the Soyuz in place uh, will fall back in an incremental fashion just before the command is given for main engine start. 